great. He, it was just a great piece of little advice. He said, don't try to look like anybody else when you putt. I, I've never heard any teacher say no. that. It's a wonderful thing because we all get up over the ball we, and we feel we have our own sort of uh, method of comfort. Some people like to stand a little bit more on their left foot. Some people a little more on the right. Some people are start with that shaft straight up and straight down. Some people like a straight back and straight through. You know, it's just how you can, it's how you can get that look that you want. Um, I, I wanted to, one of the great things though, he said, I, and, I, and really this happened, I was, I was about maybe 11 years old or something, and I had, I had a little pile of balls, you know, I'd got about a dozen balls, and I was trying a putt like this, and I putted over and over and over. And old Harvey came out of the shop. He came out of the shop and he came. And he said, Ben, I uh, see what you're doing there. He said, uh, that's good, you're, you're practicing. And he said, but that's good for just that particular putt right there. He said, you'll never have that putt again the rest of your life. And he said, go putt to other holes. And that, you know, my gosh, you know, it's, that's something that, you know, that sticks with you when you're a kid. You yeah. go, golly, I thought, you know, you just, you know, try to groove it over and over. He didn't want that. He wanted, he wanted you to putt. He wanted you to putt at different holes because you've only got, he always liked for you to practice with one ball too, you know, so you, you just, you learn. So this ball, I've got to put this ball way up there. That was a good putt. A good that's putt. the one that's, I like to, to look at putts like that, but that's, that's the only way you can get some imagination and feel. Mr. Pink liked Constance and he liked 